Okay, super fun and exciting video today. We have kindly been given basically a hyped up and modded DJI avatar where the only part is the top and the rest has been replaced by a carbon fiber, um, more cine whip like design. Um, it's lighter, it's got a wider base. Um, I've been told that it's very good in manual mode, uh, better in winds. It's a bit windy today, so we can test that. But firstly, a shout out to Gimbal Air who kindly lent this to us uh, to test and see how good it is. He's done this all himself. Make sure to check him out. I'll link his channel in the description and does some really cool stuff. So without further ado, what I'm gonna start off with is just get out your classic avatar, have a little spin around one of my favorite locations. We all know what it's like, but let's just remind ourselves. And I can also, you know, remind myself of the feel of your classic avatar before we move on to this and um, really test it and hopefully we'll feel and see the difference. If you like the look of it, hit us up in the comments. We can let you know um, some links to how you can get your hands and how you can customize this specific avatar design. Uh, right, let's get the avatar normal up before we get the hyped up. So the biggest differences between this custom avatar and your classic original avatar is the annoying squealing sound that you get with the avatar is not a thing with this. It's a lot more friendly in places where there might be people around and you don't have the constant squealing, especially if you're flying indoors or anything like that. So that's an awesome, massive change that I know a lot of people don't like about the avatar. Um, it's a lot better in high winds, as I, you've seen in some of the footage, which is just a major thing, especially here in Scotland where it's always windy. So that was a definite big win for the custom avatar. Also, um, it can go a lot quicker and it can work a lot better in Atti mode, as I'll show you in some waterfall footage. It's really, really impressive. It could climb and fall in a manner that I'm used to with other FPV drones, sometimes not even cine whip ones. So overall, really impressive. So I've discussed what I like about the custom avatar, but I'm quickly gonna mention some of the drawbacks. And you may have noticed that the footage is a little shaky and it can be a little shaky at times. It takes a little while to get used to. So compared to the earlier footage, hopefully this should be a bit more smooth. And you can see I'm getting a little more confident with it. And um, you'll see soon, it's obviously got bigger guards and the bumpers do pop up in frame sometimes so I had to go to a normal lens as opposed to a wide angle or a super wide angle. If you're flying fast in an Atti you're pretty safe as the drone's going to be obviously tilting slightly more forward and then the camera looking up. 
One other thing to mention is you have to unscrew parts of it to access the micro SD, so that is a bit of a drawback. Um, but aside from that, as I've said, really, really impressive bit of kit. And all the footage you're seeing is shot in 4K at 60 FPS, decently like, and I've color graded it all. Um, in my opinion, there's no other way to get the best footage out of an avatar unless you're shooting in decently like. Anyway, enjoy some of the footage that I've got from these cool locations up in the Scottish Highlands. So like I said earlier, if you're interested in the custom avatar, hit us up in the comments and we'll let you know a bit more about it. Uh, if you like the video, please like it and remember to subscribe and um, I'll catch you on the next one.